Welcome back, everyone, to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. I'm Golden Boy. This is Mr. X bringing you the action here. Vitality Rises going up against Brazil Five Stars. Vitality Rises came back from an incredible game as tough. they managed to win by just a mere, what, three to four points? Yeah, like, I think it was three was points. Incredible. A triple cap that they needed at pretty much the perfect time when we mentioned it. And they were able to come up with the W. Now we're moving into Search and Destroy on Sovereign. Yeah. Bulldogs. I'm excited. Bulldogs. Galore. Bulldogs. Bulldogs galore. Yeah, Should we're going to see. Fun. We're probably going to see tons of Bulldogs over on the control side. You know, that's what pretty much I've seen out of standard out of everybody all day. You know, it's traditional B pushes Bulldogs. Haven't seen a lot of A action. Do you think at people all. are kind of kind of holding stuff back for uh, for group play? I don't think. I, 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 would, I would. Personally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Personally, I wouldn't. I think that's a really small-minded just way to think about the entire event. Uh, but I, I bet you there are some teams that are holding some stuff back. You know, I think there are some strategies that we haven't seen a lot of. You know, I mean, I think on a map like this, I think you could use that LMG class that uh, Xfinity uses with a overkill and then a reflex to switch okay. to a sub. I think you could use that to just get those wall banks through on the control room area. But no, I haven't seen any of the strats lately. Well, H is going to get taken out right away. And that is going to draw first blood. Bomb has gone down over by that A bomb site. So let's see here. You have uh, Broken just hanging out, waiting to see if anyone's going to come around challenge. It is going to be a 2v3 here with uh, just when he thought that the first blood was going to make a difference. They do manage to get that bomb down, but a headshot ooh, there ooh, by ooh. Broken, like a laser beam, as his teammate Carnage manages to take out Excellence. Now it's going to be Coco Lander by himself, 1v2, dealing with Broken and Carnage. Looking around the side, going to get one shot there, going for the wall bank. Player's going to run away. 13 seconds left on the clock. You know that he's going to have to go for that. But if yeah. he does, he's going to get met with bullets right away from Broken. Broken playing this one absolutely phenomenal. And he gets him with the knife with to the shank. chest. So cold-blooded. Yeah, and I, you know, Broken played that perfect. I mean, he has one of the best shots. I mean, you saw it right there with the MTAR when the guy was walking across caution. But, you know, he didn't challenge after the guy saw him. He was, played that pretty perfectly. You know, a lot yep. of other players probably would have came out and taken a few shots, you know, but... Good clock awareness. Knew it was about 15 seconds left. He was going to need to either defuse right away. He was going to have time to go look at the bomb. So smart plays out of Broken. Yeah, and of course, you had mentioned before, you were, uh, Broken was a player that you really wanted to take a look at because just, you know, the, the talent that he possesses. So let's see. Bring up this Oracle view. You're going to have two players push up Broken. Finding one, getting first blood. There's going to be another one right around the corner, right around this wall. It's going to be a Bulldog, and he's oh. going to get met with that one as H will be there for the stop. Now you have Carnage. He's going to be rocking that AR over by a bomb site. Pushed out, which is something we don't see all that much. We see players kind of reserved and playing yeah. a little bit farther back. But this time, H is opting to just move around a little bit. And maybe that trophy system could potentially throw someone off and make the other team believe that he's hanging out there so that he can protect himself from the grenades. Yeah, and I mean, I, I actually like that spot for the trophy system, even if you were to play in the back of research, because that's going to block anything that lands in front, like a smoke or even a stun that probably would have given a hit marker to show he's there. But you see oh. Blue right there getting absolutely destroyed by Lay to make it an even two-on-two -two scenario. That was not a situation that I know Blue wanted. No. He had that shot lined up and could not close it out. And like you said, 2v2. This is a bit scary here. And he sees the gun. He's got to see gun. Gets him right in the head with a great headshot on H. And now it would be a 1v2. It's going to be all up to Lay here. Finding one player, getting that shot. Another player right behind. Oh! And a big clutch out of Lay, getting that double kill against Gotaga and Carnage. What I mean, a play out of him. That That's a huge play right there. I mean, he evened up at rounds, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's it, to go up. It's a whole difference of, you know, I mean, earlier I saw a team that they team killed and it made up. It ended up losing them the round. I mean, that's a round if you lose, uh, that can lead to, you know, Vitality running away with this match. So that was a huge play. Probably a play that could legitimately win. Uh, Brazil this match. Yeah, you're, you're probably right about that one. So now we have uh, Lay on your screen after that amazing double kill that he managed to secure for his team. Could potentially put him in a good situation. A uh, unique angle here is he gets on top of the uh, top of the roof here, and he's just, he, he, I see exactly what he's doing. He's pretty much angling the camera at a point that if someone gets reckless and rushes out on B, he'll see them. He'll see them, and also he'll see them on the, uh, on the A side as well. Uh, yep. Of course, let's see how this is all going to unfold as we jump on board with another player. Let's see what's up with Excellence, who's going to be hanging out right at the top of the control room. 
See if he can pick off someone with that grenade. Not going to happen. Lay is going to be there for the stop on blue. Coco Lander taking out Kotaga. And now Excellence, knowing that there's going to be a player there. Vector shots, it's going to be good as he manages to take one out. Bulldog, though, from Carnage as he's going to be by himself. LMS going up against three. Not going to matter as Lay picks up another two kills here. That is going to be a solid, what is that, for him? That would be, I'm, I'm losing him here. Five. Five and one to start things off in this Search and Destroy game, putting Brazil five stars ahead of Vitality. Hey, right you know, now. Alex, if you're rocking the Bulldog, right? Okay. Do you rock an overkill class? Because right there, I mean, Carnage left alone with the Bulldog. He's pretty much useless. It's a it's tough situation to fight at him. Yeah, well, it's like you have the Bulldog for the short range. So obviously yeah. you'll probably like bust out an AR. What are you really using on the Bulldog? You're using probably like a muzzle break or something like muzzle that. Muzzle right? extended usually yeah. is what everyone uses. So you're using that. I would imagine that you probably aren't and you're committed to this but blue taking out two with that double as broken's gonna take out another that's gonna leave h by himself already identifies two players but instead is gonna get taken really out from nice the push. left by carnage and gets met right away did not expect that at all going into this one we're all tied up two to two round five up next i love that push from the vitality squad right there yeah they push straight down the mid street and you know it's very interesting because that's one spot that a lot of teams don't watch right off the break you know when you see a team go control side they pretty much have a guy look, bottom snake, a guy war, and then two guys control. There's really nobody left to watch mid street, so they pushed right down it, and I, that was a perfect call right there. Yeah, good moves there out of uh, Vitality Rises. And when you think like, oh, Brazil five stars, yeah, we have a lead. Oh, wait, Vitality Rises comes right back. So that's why I'm so excited to see the search and destroy between these two teams. You had mentioned, you said Brazil five stars, a great search and destroy team. And they're definitely showing it here, testing their metal against Vitality Rises. Now, but and another thing to point out, Kutaga 0 and 3, but it's still early in the game though. But he gets taken he out again, him. so he's 0 and 4. And yes, sorry, cast curse. Man. It, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he jinxed him right there. And yeah, Vitality Rises needs to watch it a little bit because they haven't gotten first blood. I don't think in any of these rounds. You know, they're getting first blooded. And they're they're extremely fortunate that it's this close because to be getting first blooded consistently, you're not going to win search and destroy. I mean, right now they're just having players make big plays, but. That, that can't that can't be consistent for an entire event. That's true. You need to you need to make some kind of consistency happen. So you, you need to set work that on getting those with the rest first of the picks exactly. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I mean, when when you lose that player right away, I mean, you're you're forced but to do. You know yeah. what I mean? You're forced. You have to make it happen. So now we have uh, Carnage on your screen. It's excellent. So we're gonna jump over to Brazil Five Stars because they are gonna have the bomb and they're just gonna go aggressive inside of B. Good angles there with the grenades as they try and get pressure inside of there, and Excellence opting to back out. You're going to see in that Oracle view, a couple of players already, you know, just, just prepared for that rush. But Excellence checking corners. That's what you got to do in Search and Destroy. Might make his way up the ladder to War Room or go underneath War, but instead he's going to go yellow. No, he's just lingering around, and that yeah. may have cost him as he was just going around back and forth, back and forth, not sure where he wanted to go in that one. Coco Lander and Lay by themselves, but we've seen Lay come up huge as he manages to pick up one, but not going to happen. Broken with the stop on Lay. Coco Lander by himself, 1v3. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of what uh, Brazil Five Stars did right there. You know, they kind of just sat around and gave a ton of map control to Vitality, and they weren't, it wasn't like they were sitting around trying to do something together. They were pretty spread out, yeah. Golden Boys. So I, it looked I, like they had a plan to get him to be. And then right? they just abandoned it to do nothing. Yeah, yeah, and Gotaga is able to pick up his first kill there. That was going to be on Coco Lander. Mtar in hand did identify him, and he found him right at the bottom. War takes him out, and that's going to be a clean kill for him. So, yeah, you're right. It, it was like they, they gave them a lot of time to work with, and, and you just can't do that against Vitality Rights. They were able to swarm them yeah. at that point. I mean, you know, they had a guy at one point. He was outside of the War Room ladder, a guy up in top control, and then a guy over at A, and... You were just, they were so spread out, especially to be manned down. That you now, when you get manned down, you have to start wolf packing with each other and you have to get together and yeah. just really make a good push together. Yeah, and Excellence is going to be in the thick of it as he is going to get taken out, though. You have Coco Lander now waiting to see if anyone's going to push around. Gets that stun, so he's going to go straight for it. That's going to be a nade, and he's going to get right inside of the war room at the nick of time. Bulldog oh. is going to meet him, and Carnage with the stop. Lay here, he's going to toss that grenade up top. Hopefully his teammate will be there for the read if he gets hit markers, but nothing will come of that. They did get a call out, though, that a player was probably going to be on top of blue, and Lay does find him. Puts the shots down, but misses. So he's going to have to drop back around, gets met again by Broken, and Lay couldn't follow through on that one. He gets taken out, and here you see as Vitality Rises begins. 
get into the swing of things again, and this is going to cause a problem here for uh, for excellence in the Brazil Five Stars, guys. Yeah, you know, right there, I mean, it would have been nice for Lay not to have shot and wasted those few bullets, gave away his position. I don't think they knew he was there exactly, but, you know, these, these rounds, Alex, are going just back and forth. It's going to take one of these, you know, main players that you look at. You know, you look at excellency for Brazil Five Stars, and you look at Blue pretty much uh, this far for Vitaly Rise, you know, one of these two players is going to have to make a big play that really separates these two teams. Yeah, that's right, and Carnage here, he's going to look around the side, try and get an angle, finds one long distance. Oh, there's a lot of hit markers there. That has to be frustrating for Carnage. So he's going to opt to just drop back, continue to play the long-range AR game, not giving him any kind of attention or any kind of potential opportunity to push A and paying them a lot of attention because he knows that the pressure could potentially be coming from here. And Cringe, oh, Carnage needs to be careful, but he is picked off. Blue and Gotaga by themselves. Gotaga's gonna be hanging out far back with the sniper rifle, I believe. It's, uh, yeah, but he has that MTAR with the muzzle break, so he's gonna have that close range gun for him. Blue, on the other hand, is gonna be dealing with a player by top war. He gets taken out, now it's all up to Gotaga. Yeah, and I mean, I, it looks like Gotaga also has, uh, he had reflex on there, so he was uh, switched guns a lot faster, you know, yeah. almost instantaneously. So that's an interesting class for a sniper. I haven't really seen that too much. But, you know, right there, I mean, you saw a pretty dominant round from Brazil. Five stars. None I, I, of these I teams think, can pull away. I think Gotaga was thinking, all right, maybe I got to just push up. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I just, maybe I'll, I'll play the sniper game, but I know that, like, I got to be able to yeah. switch really quick. So I actually really like that use of reflex. Yeah, I mean, I think we've been seeing more and more use of Reflex as a perk, whether it's with trophy systems or with you no know, overkill combined. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely becoming something that a lot of players are opting to use. I kind of feel like if you're going to run a heavy trophy system uh, class, you got to rock that Reflex. It just comes down yeah. way too slow. You know, oh, then you're going to get caught off guard and you get taken out. Like, I, I just feel like it's you would need to. You know, it's interesting, too, Alex. From both of these teams, we're seeing a lot of double nade use. You know, yeah. Two or three players on each team are these double nades. Yeah, Gotaga around the side. He's going to find one player by caution, identifies him, calls him out. Smart so he play. tells him, hey, guys, he's going to be two by caution. Lay does take out blue, and Kukalander takes out another one. You see the four Gotaga players pushing up. He finds one. That's going to open things up here, and Gotaga's going to have to drop back, expecting a player to come around the side, but that's not going to matter. That bomb was down, and they managed to get the fuse. Now we are going to be sitting at five to four. And this could be a big win here for Brazil Five Stars after that disappointing loss that they had. It was pretty much a lock for them. Yeah. And then they gave it up in that domination sovereign game. But again, we're talking about Vitality Rises here. Broken's been having a phenomenal game. Kotaga's been lighting it up just a little bit. I'm expecting big things out of him, but Lei has just been a force to be reckoned with. Oh, I mean, he's been on fire. He hasn't missed. And I mean, I think that last round right there, that was what you really wanted to see. You know, they was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That was the first time that Brazil Five Stars was able to win two rounds in a row. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously it's extremely important that Vitality answers with another round right here because obviously if they don't, they lose. Yeah. But, you know, Brazil Five Stars has the momentum right now. They need to play this round extremely smart. It's all about secure whoever's right going to get that first blood. That's what it's all about here. Yeah, I mean, exactly. If you can get into control room and get that first blood. I mean, that's huge, but it looks like Lay is going to try and challenge this guy. He does He miss. is, he he is in robot miss. mode right now. He does That's absurd. Miss. A savage. Excellent. So is going to take out Kotaga. Blue will take out Coco Lander. That's going to leave it into a 2v3. Carnage and Blue trying to see if they can make magic happen as they push up individually. You have Blue actually on the attack as he's going to be right bottom B. The bomb is going to go down. That's going to prompt Blue to have to push up. Finding one and a great shot there, making it 2v2. Could this be the opportunity they needed? As you see, Blue, he was like, you know what? A guy's probably going to push out here. And that looked like that was going to be the case. But instead, he wraps around and he's going back up to the yellow staircase. Made a full run around. Finding another one in War Room. That's going to be huge. Blue now, he has to be careful. Blue's going to get taken out. Carnage by himself. AR in hand. Can he do it? The pressure's on. Oh! oh and he gets taken out. Excellence. The champ comes back strong as he finishes 9-6. and six. And I said the champ because one of the most winningest players in competitive Call of yes. Duty in for Europe. You definitely can see the composure that he had yeah. there. On the other side, Carnage seemed to have been lost a little bit. Swaying back and forth was like, yeah. where is he going? Where is he going? If that was me, I just would have been spraying away. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. And X comes up big. Huge play. I mean, I, 
I, I think I said that it was either going to be Excellency or Blue that were going to make the big play that needed for those teams to win. I mean, yeah. you see the experience of Excellency right there. I, you know, Carnage just got caught in a bad situation up there in control right. with an AR against a sub player. That's not a favorable battle, especially when he's trying to jump over the window on the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not a yeah. good idea. And and another thing that I, I just want to point out here before we, we go to a quick commercial break, Lay, 12-5, and five, okay? But H, 1-9. One one so he crazy. struggled. He struggled, but yet somehow Lay with his robot-like mentality. We could be seeing a French Crim6 here, just a, just a robot. Well, the Brazilian Crim6. Oh, I'm sorry, the Brazilian Crim6. I apologize. Anyway, the French Brazilian Crips. French Brazilian. We will just go, we'll just go with that. All right, guys. So we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna have game number three. It will be Blitz series. Currently, it's gonna be tied one to one. Who is gonna be able to, you know, tip the odds in their favor going into game four? Find out after this. <laughs> 